Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Today I'll be doing this quick face beat and basically trying out the new Chanel, well not the new, I just got the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder and I'll let you guys know what I think about it at the end, but this is the final look. And if you want to see how I achieved this look, keep watching. So I decided to make this video low-key luxury. So I'm going to be using a lot of my high-end makeup products, starting with hydration. I really follow Molly Magic on Instagram, and she always talks about hydrating your face and putting in moisture before actually starting to put your products on the face. So today what we're going to use to hydrate, we're using the Dior Hydrolife Sorbet Water. I'm just going to put a little bit in my hands and slap that on my face. Next, I'm going to do my brows and before putting the primer, I'm going to do the actual um, brow liner and everything. Today, I'm using Makeup Revolution's um, brow pencil in the color medium brown. So I love this because it has both the spoolie and the actual um, brow pencil thing at the other side. So it's like a two-in-one, which is bomb. I'm not going to put much because my brows are really full and I'm trying to go for a natural-ish brow look and fill out any spaces that I can see. And that's it. And I'm just going to brush the product into the hair and I'm gonna clean it with some MAC concealer I'm using the studio finish concealer in NC 50 so it comes in a little packet thingy like this and I'm just taking one of my old brushes I don't even remember where I got this brush it's actually an elf brush and it's an eyeliner brush but I love it for cleaning my brows because it does an amazing job. I've had this for such a long time. Let me just put a little bit more for the other side. I've actually been really, really bad with makeup these days. I haven't been putting on makeup, so which means I haven't been practicing, which means I don't know if I still got it. But I guess this makeup tutorial will tell me whether I still... You know, it's like riding a bicycle. Once you've learned how to ride a bike, you never forget. I'm hoping it's the same with makeup. So I'm just going to do the bottom brows to clean them. I'm going to use one of my BH Cosmetic brushes just to blend the concealer onto my eye. Okay, next I'm going to take my Benefit Cosmetics Primer. So this is the Pore Minimizing Primer. I actually loved the one I got because it came with a mini um, setting, setting spray. So I don't know if I should use the setting spray today or my favorite Morphe. We're going to decide at the end. But for now, I'm just going to put a little bit of the primer on my face. Okay, so now after the primer, I'm going to take my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is the color 5W. Um, I got this from the airport in South Africa. And I was actually so excited to try it because all the baddies have been using it. So I wanted to try it for myself. Um, so I don't know if I should... 
Okay, I'm gonna do a very minimal eye look today. So I'm gonna do foundation and then my eyes because there won't be much fallout. Usually if I'm doing like a bright color, I won't do my foundation before my eyes. But today we're gonna try this bad boy. So once again, I'm taking one of my BH Cosmetics brushes. This is the, the number 130. And this is like a flat kind of brush. And I'm just gonna use that to put the foundation on. Um, it seems medium coverage, but not too light. But what I like about it is, is you don't feel that you have foundation on your face. So it's not light coverage, but it feels very light. In my opinion, IMO. So it covers quite well because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So I usually tell foundation, how good foundation coverage is by not um color correcting so i'm gonna take my real techniques expert face face brush to just blend that into my skin and i'm tapping it in i'm not like rubbing it around my face because we want it all to go into the skin and not the brush and i'm not using too much force so that it actually doesn't go in my brush too much it's not drying too quickly which is good so i don't have to work like really really fast but i should have done one side so you can see what it looks like but i'm pretty sure i actually um color matched myself at the airport and i'm not mad at it i am not mad at it at all so this is one layer i think we're just gonna do one layer today i'm not going for a heavy makeup look and it's okay to let some of the blemishes go through you know you don't always have to be like completely Barbie doll face. Nah. Next, we're gonna take my Too Faced chocolate chip eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna use, which color am I gonna use today? I'm gonna use these two colors just for a very subtle eyeshadow look so i'm going in with this color first and i'm just tapping that around like so like that I was supposed to do this look when the sun was still out and it's not out so i really hope you guys can see me properly then i'm gonna take the lighter color and put it right in the middle of my eyelid very simple two eye shadow color look I'm not trying to do anything hectic and we just blend it a little bit so it's just a li little less harsh i'm using my chokers and makeup blending brush check them out on instagram because i don't want a very bold eye look i'm gonna take my benefit cosmetics cabrow um this is a gel brow liner but i'm gonna use it as i'm gonna use it as an eyeliner today and i'm just gonna use it to line the top part of my eyes i just think um putting an eyeliner at the top kind of opens the eyes a bit more and i actually love my eyes when they look big so 
they're not too small but they're not too big but i like emphasizing the eyes next i'm gonna put my essence lash mascara my fave princess the purple one this is the sculpted volume mascara i put this almost every time i before i put lashes on it just helps blend the lashes into your natural lash i'm gonna put my lashes off camera and then i'll come back okay i'm done putting on my lashes and now i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer i'm using the benefit cakeless concealer in number 11. i've loved this concealer like since it came out i went to get it just to try it out and it's pretty good i really really like it um i don't really like the size it's so tiny so it finishes quickly um but it does an amazing job so i'm gonna put a little bit over there some on my forehead and some down here and then the usual a little bit on the sides then i'm gonna take my damp blending brush and i'm just gonna blend all of that very softly into my skin If you guys knew what I'm filming with, <laughs> you'd be amazed. I'm using my little, um, like my phone ring light stand type of thing. I'm going to show you at the end, but yeah. Okay, this dries pretty quickly. <laughs> Almost dried on my forehead, so I need to work fast. Next, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place concealer stick and I'm just going to put a little bit on the hollows of my cheeks and a little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the jawline. Then we're just going to blend that in with my Real Techniques blending brush. It's coming together. I like it. I like it. I think I'm going to put a bit more concealer under my eyes. I like number 11 because it's not too bright. It's pretty much by my skin tone. But it still adds a little bit of extra coverage to my face. I'm going to tap, tap, tap lightly so that you're not putting the product, too much product on the blending brush. When you have a heavy hand, most of it goes on the brush and off your face, which defeats the purpose of concealer in the first place. I'm not too shabby. Like my makeup just looks all right. It looks all right. You know room for improvement but that's okay next we're gonna use the star of the show my chanel natural finish loose powder i got the number 70 shout out to t for putting me on um luxury baby i can't wait to like have all luxury products so it comes with a little um what are they called powder um sponge thing very soft and then it's got this that keeps the powder from coming off i'm just gonna take that off so i got it in the number 70 and it seems like it would be really good for my like setting the rest of my face but we're gonna try and use the side we didn't use for, should I use this or a brush? 
Okay, I'm gonna use this. And we're just gonna dip a little bit of that and set that under eyes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at the difference. I actually didn't expect it to be this good. <laughs> this is insane. No filter. Insane. Insane. Guys, are you are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but it's literally giving like a flawless finish, like under my eyes. I don't know if it's the concealer or if it's the powder, but it's doing the damn thing. Nah, hey, this was worth all my coins. And I think I'm gonna get Number 40 is what all the, the girlies are using, the people of color, the black girlies. So I'm probably going to get that. It was out of stock when I was trying to get this. So I said I was going to get this one and use it for like all over application. But yeah, I'm sold. I am sold for sure like guys no hey no this is not okay it's not okay <laughs> it's really not and it goes into the skin so easily like i don't need to blend it it's just going in look at that Yeah, I'm in love. I am. Period. <laughs> okay, um, let me get serious with life. Next, I'm going to take my Revolution Patricia Bright face palette. And I'm going to um, just add my blush and my, um, what is it called? contour powder the blush and contour powder i'm gonna start with the contour powder just gonna put a little bit in the hollows of them cheeks like so like that just to snatch the face a little bit and then to add a little bit of razzle dazzle i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna do my lips and my hair off camera and i'll be right back oh i put um setting spray right now i use the morphe continuous setting mist Bruh. let me put my lip lip stuff real quick okay this is the final look i put like um <laughs> a few dots on my face where i have like pimples or hyperpigmentation i didn't want to do the whole face because really that's gonna be insane but when i tell you i love this bad boy right here this She's the girl she thinks she is. And I'm definitely going to buy um, a lighter color to like when I want to highlight my under eyes. Definitely going to buy this. Because. Guys. Like literally gives such a flawless finish. I'm in love with it. And I love how I've done my makeup. It's really like a very natural look. not sponsored obviously <laughs> so definitely i would definitely recommend this mad city so t put me on one of my friends and yeah 
I approve this message. I actually do worth all the coins. So I just don't know how it gets like, like it's so fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, please click the like button. It really helps people um, find my content because it recommends this video to other people so that more people can see it so that my content so that my channel can grow so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video